with you women work extremely hard women have to be looked at as this young person as this woman the fact that you're a woman is already a barrier you have once you're a wife you have to now think about how is this woman who's a wife going to execute her duties once you're a mother it's how is this woman wife and mother going to execute the duties people's journeys we always assume ah she knows someone there she knows and that's what makes me really really mad when people have conversations and they say oh how does a person work for world bank they probably know someone there to be very honest till where i have reached i have had no connections whatsoever when you know your worth you know you will never settle and that's the challenge we have as women i always set short term goals and long term goals how many here have goals it doesn't have to be perfect brilliant yeah it it doesn't have to be 10 goals just even one or two goals that's what i had always done success and whether you view a woman should be viewed as a woman leader or what comes first this is a leader who is a woman right it doesn't have to matter her gender but because of the atrocities of the oppression that has happened we now have to view women as this is a woman leader this is a woman who is tasked at empowering other young women right and sometimes i feel as women we do not believe in ourselves we do not believe that we have the capability of doing these things that we talk about we always have to shrink ourselves to fit in tiny containers let me tell you something i live by i live by this no pain no gain and i live by do you know swans or ducks right you've seen how swans are beautiful floating over the water ni 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 you know have you ever seen their feet beneath that water it's struggling to stay afloat right and that's how we should be despite the struggles that we have to go through we have to rise above them and paddle those waters irrespective of the storms on the tides that will come by so the change is with you it's with me and you how we want our society to perceive and see women how we want to articulate issues that affect us even now and in the future we never use social media for the right things we always use it to spread propaganda cyberbullying rumors you know it's time for us we are the people who use these platforms to change that narrative let's make policy changes through the social media avenues that we have and when we do that when we're able to significantly positively constructively contribute to the policy making process in this country then we are a digital generation thanks <laughs>